guys, so we're here with the unboxing video of uh, the gaming chair I've got, and that's it here. There's a whole lot of other things on the floor. guys what I'm gonna be doing I'm, I'm actually gonna be showing you how to set up an axe rocker pro so yeah the, it will have a circle stand it will have these type of arm pads right here they'll fold up and down it vibrates it, 
there's music comes out of the side, it does not light up. It can fold up, there's a music box thing at the back, there's an air thing which lets all the air out from the music playing and stuff like that there. Headrest, with like kind of soft stuff here, like that there. And if you're lucky and they don't send you, I don't know, something just not right. You will have to build this chair up, like put the arms on it and all, but yeah. It won't come just like already built up, you'll have to put the stand on it if you want. So yeah, you'll have this, you'll have the X Rocker Shine volume button twister thing. I'm gonna teach you guys how to set this thing up. Now this is simple, this is now X Rocker, in fact, are not a good company in my personal <coughs> uh flip me. They're not a good company, but this chair, however, they do sell brilliant stuff, but you know what? They don't even sell you the right wires. They've got one ra one wire that says it's not included, but we can do one thing for your Xbox 360. Yep, to make this possible without that extra wire. What you're gonna need is you'll have the actual bit which plugs into the side, so, which will be right here, and uh, the music stopped, which isn't good. Just replay it again. So it'll be, it'll be this here one. It'll look like this. It, it will take up like two spaces, and I'll just leave those bits. And it'll lead around to this wire here. Now, right here in the chair, under these buttons here, the on button, the volume for the vibration, and the base, you want to plug it right in the middle, just there guys, thumbs up for that. Alright, now these wires you just totally do not need, but I would plug them into the last bit right here, just in there, just in case this doesn't work, but this will work. But yeah, so, then you're going to come around, you're going to need to get the, the short green wire, it doesn't matter if it's long or short. But you're going to need the rocker transmitter which is blue ring around it and you're going to need to put batteries in that and you're going to need to slot that at three slot the white wire into there along with the two white ones use your like little holder things plug that into your xbox thing where they would usually go into the side of the tv now you are going to need an hdmi but this is where it comes in now the hdmi as you can see, it will not fit with that there. So you need to have the bit where you would usually plug into your TV, put those two red and white ones from your TV and leave the yellow one out. And then, so you'd have it like this here. And then right here, if I just pull this out. What we have done is we have cut the end off so the HDMI cable fits in. Now, not I promise you guys, nothing will happen if you cut this off. There's no wires. It just causes frust frustration. That's it. Put, slot your SD, your HDMI cable, and then this on top, which you would get with the Xbox, and then plug that in, and then connect your wires up HDMI under HDMI cable into your TV, and yeah, make sure to put batteries batteries in that. Turn it on at free. Come over to your chair once again, and set your chair. There will be an and off, one, two, and three. You wanna put that at three. Now, you can put it at one or two, but then your transmitter will have to go at one. Say you put that at two, your transmitter will have to go to two. Put it at one, your transmitter will have to go to one. But three works, which I know it works because, um, I'll even show you after, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's really, really cool. But yeah, that's the one wire you don't need, so you cut the end off a wee bit there, which, yeah, it will not do anything. But yeah, once again, you need an HDMI cable, you're going to need a transmitter, your own batteries, you're going to need to cut the end off that wee bit, you're going to need the power, and you're going to need the wire bit. And yeah, the wee two cable things, the green, and white, the green red and white cable, that's it. See you guys later for another video. This is how to set up an X Rocker Pro. X Rocker are awesome, but annoying at the same time. 
And yeah, this took me hours and hours and hours. Uh, days and days and days to set this up. But I hope you guys like it because this one works. See you guys next time for another video. Oh, thumbs up for the unboxing video. Personally, I like that. See you guys next time. See ya.